will see CSS. So CSS stands for uh, Cascading Style Sheets. So this gives styles to the HTML elements, right? It uh, describes how HTML elements has to be displayed on the screen. Okay, so we will see the CSS syntax and how to use CSS. Okay, so to give a syntax, right? First, we need to know. First, we need to select the HTML element, right? So this is a. So this there are different ways you can select an HTML element. One way to mention the element name itself, like H1, right? So that is a selector. So, so for this, for all H1 elements, you are going to apply color as blue. So this is a property what I'm going to change and the value for the property. And for all H1 elements, the font size is going to be 12 pixels. Right? This is how you give uh, style to your uh, HTML elements. You have to select it and provide. Uh, uh, property and values to give styles okay so this is a way you give it right you start with the uh, element name for paragraph paragraph element the color is red and the all the text will be aligned to center okay if you see try it yourself so this is the paragraph so the color is red and all the text are aligned to the center okay okay Okay, this is what, so let's see how we can select the elements. You saw that, right? You can select using the element name and this is a syntax. This is the element selector and you can select using ID, right? Uh, so you specify ID for HTML elements, right? Um, suppose here for this paragraph tag, you have given an ID as paragraph. I want to select uh, all the paragraph with this ID. Right, so for that I have to use hash and the ID name, and it is given like. Suppose if I give ID as uh, para one for this element, right now this paragraph is not affected by style. It is like this, right? I have given the ID, so this will also style will be uh, applied for this uh, element also. So you uh, you can select this element using an ID. To select an ID, we have to use hash sticks and the element. And the ID name, and then you can give the style. Okay, and then uh, you can select using a class also. So in the HTML for the element, you can have the class attribute, right? When you give a class attribute, uh, you can uh, you have to put a dot and the class name, and you can give the style. Okay, so you can select using class. You can select using ID. Why we have two? See, usually ID is used to select only one particular HTML element, right? Previously, you saw, right, it is used to select only one particular. You can also give for both, but it is not a good practice to use ID for two element, two HTML elements. But class is generally used for multiple HTML elements, and this style will be applied for all the HTML elements with this class. Okay, and then so you have went to the class selector. And next is a universal selector. If you put a star, it will be applied for all the elements in your HTML. Okay, and grouping selector. So if there are, uh, so grouping selector is, suppose you want to apply same style to multiple elements, right? Uh, you see the style is, uh, the styling is same, center, red, okay? Instead of having separately, you can give a comma and you can group uh, the HTML elements. Uh, this is what is group selector. Okay, now how to apply the styles? So you can you can insert. There are three ways to insert your style sheet. One is external, internal, and inline. External is you can have your styles in a separate file, and you can give you can link that uh, your CSS file in your HTML file using this link uh, element, which is there in the HTML uh, element. So you have to put this link under the HTML under under the head not HTML, under the head and then you have to give a uh, style sheet uh, rel and then his reference your CSS uh, file which contains the style. Okay, so this is external. The styles are present in this file, mystyle.css, right? Your, uh, your, this content, right? This content is present in another file, mystyle.css and you can refer that file for your style. This is a syntax to do that using the uh, link tag. Okay, this is external CSS. Internal CSS is 
in the same html file under the head tag you can give the uh, style tag and provide under the style tag you can provide your style right uh, this is internal css and inline css is for in the html element itself using the style attribute you can give the style okay uh, this is inline css this three ways uh, you can give styles to your uh, html document okay so now how to provide colors right uh, um, this is inline css style background color uh, the for background color property you are giving a value so that will be applied for this okay and uh, there are different ways you can give your styles right color uh, for the border right for this border you can give a color solid tomato blue okay uh, you can give also color for using uh, red green blue and uh, using uh, that you, you can combine so red uh, 255 is you are taking complete red uh, if you are specifying values for each color right suppose if you take right here so you are specifying values for each color right uh, um, uh, this is mostly red right and green is only 99 and the blue is 71 so if i if i make blue more and red less right this will little, come little bluish right coming little bluish so you are basically uh, you can choose different colors it will combine all the colors in the ratio of the values you specified and then the color will be displayed okay and similarly you can give backgrounds an important part is right uh, uh, so background so for the background you can have this many uh, uh, styles are there background color uh, image repeat so all these things you can give um, and the important part of css is the css box model so what is css box model this is an important topic in css CSS boxes, um, see CSS box model is for every element, right? Uh, there is a box around the element. Okay. You have a content, right? Around the content, there is a box. This is a big box around the content. So the space between the content and the border, right? That's called padding. Okay. This is a border. Uh, this is a border width, right? This much width is there. And the space between your uh, border and the next html element right your uh, box is the margin so this is what is important this is the box model right every html element is uh, uh, the wrap is wrapped around by a box and it consists of content padding border and margin okay using this you can give styles okay um, suppose so here um this is a development right this is a development and for this development i'm giving a background color light gray so it is a light gray so this is the content this part is the content right so the the space between the content and the border this part is the margin see this part is the padding sorry this part is the padding so if i change the padding right this this is actually 50 pixel now 50 pixel now i change it to 10 pixel this length will get changed see this 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 one's got getting changed okay and the margin is the space between your border and uh, this space right this space if i if i increase it to 30 this space this space will get increased see this space and this space this is a margin the space between the border and the uh, our outer box or the previous element border width right so your border is actually 15 pixels so this border is solid green it is 15 pixels okay i don't want 15 pixels i want 5 pixels is enough right so this will be this border can be reduced so the width of the html element right is, is the 300 pix 300 pixel let's make it 500 pixels so that the width is a little big yeah i'm increasing the width so this is what you are to understand this is a cx box model right it is a it is a it's basically a box which wraps around the html element it consists of content padding border and margin okay so so in case if you want for this right if you want to calculate uh, the complete width okay if you want to calculate the complete width of this right so this is the width of the your HTML element, right? Um, this is the width. 
width of this, right? Um, so, so the total width of the element will be this width plus plus uh, left side padding and right side padding. So first 20 pixel for the left side padding and right side padding. And for the left border and right border, 5 pixel and 5 pixel. And suppose if it is uh, 0, no, there is no, no need to add for margin. So you have to add it two times because that is padding on the left hand side and also on the right hand side. So this is how this is how the total element width is calculated. The width plus left padding plus right padding, right plus left border, right border, left margin, right margin. All the things you have to add. Similarly for the height also. Okay, so total width will be the width, right? Uh, the complete width plus this this margin, this mar this padding and this padding, and uh, this uh, um, width actually defines the width of your content only, right? Uh, right. So this width, the complete element width will be this width plus this padding, uh, this padding plus this left padding plus right padding. Then left border plus right border plus left margin. After the border, there is margin, left margin plus right margin, right? If you add everything, you'll get the total width of your uh, element. So this is basically the CSS box model. So CSS Flexbox, right? Uh, we put related elements inside a block box, right? Inside a div. And then uh, um, that is a flex container. Okay. And uh, if you see here, right, uh, these are the related uh, divs. I am putting inside a div and uh, the class is flex container. For the flex container, right, uh, you have to give display as flex to make it uh, a flex box. This is an important uh, thing you have to give. And the background is also blue. So this is a flex container. The background is also blue. Okay. And then... Uh, Inside the flex container for all the divs, right? So I'm giving a greater than symbol, and for all the divs, right? I am uh, giving a background color as uh, uh, I think this background color we can make it red so that you know what is happening. So this this part will become red, right? This part is red, and then uh, you see the margin is 10 pixel. So this 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 length is 10 pixel. Padding is 20 pixel. So this pad this length is 20 pixel. And font size is 30 pixels, so font size is 30 pixels, right? This size, the, the size of the content is 30 pixels. Okay, so you this is the reason why we put, put all these things in a flex box is it's easy to style, right? Uh, um, so the, the flex container has certain properties, right? Uh, it has some properties like flow direction, uh, flow wrap, flex direction, flex wrap, flex flow. Justify content, okay. Um, so each has one particular value, okay. Direction property, if you put it as row, if it is put, if you put it as column, it will be displayed in the column manner, column way, right? Column reverse, right? It will display in the reverse manner, okay. So each property uh, has an effect on your uh, flexbox. So flexbox is basically a container to uh, put related HTML elements. So that uh, you can give some uh, styles to those uh, elements, right? Uh, the flex box has, uh, box has these uh, properties.